In 1814, about a week after the city of Washington had been badly burned, British troops moved up to the primary port at Baltimore Harbor in Maryland. Francis Scott Key visited the British fleet on September 13th to secure the release of Dr. William Baines, who had been captured during the Washington raid. The two were detained on the ship so as to not warn the Americans while the Royal Navy attempted to bombard Fort McHenry. At dawn on the 14th, Key noted that the American flag, although torn and tattered, was still waving and had not been removed in defeat. The sight inspired him to write a poem entitled, Defense of Fort McHenry. Later, the poem was set to music previously composed by a Mr. Smith. The Star Spangled Banner was immediately noted as an inspiring song that should be the national anthem of the United States, and it was accepted as such by public demand for the next century. In 1917, it was sung at the World Series to honor the brave armed forces fighting in World War I, and it has been sung every game since. On March 3, 1931, Congress proclaimed it as a national anthem 116 years after it was first written. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Oh, say can you 